it's been a long time that I have made any Photoshop tutorials. So this time I thought, why not let's make a Photoshop cool tutorial which can help you to make your channel clip arts or thumbnail more beautiful like in my channel. You guys can check my VFX world, uh, what you can say, cover photo, uh, which will be a awesome photo on your YouTube channel or any kind of Facebook cover photos as well. So let's get started. First of all, what you have to do, let's take a text tool. So this is a text tool in Photoshop or you can use T for this text tool. In Photoshop, the shortcut is T. So let's press T here. See, it's automatically come. First time, it takes some time for load. So don't worry, don't click anywhere. Otherwise, it can be crash. Okay, then click anywhere in your screen and just type i'm just typing like vfx space w o r l d because this is my channel name vfx world uh, then let's make it a little bigger not little too much bigger like this great okay so this is my vfx world logo make it center and then change this color from black to white then press okay it's cool okay now make it a little more thicker so turn on this bold option now see it's looking really good now this uh, length is uh, pretty big so I'm just turn this little down uh, it's fine okay now close this now what happened when you press ctrl T on your keyboard and then right click you can see there are a few options are disabled like distort perspective wrap content our scale proper trap and all only scale rotation and skew is visible the reason is this is a text tool layer it's not rasterized so what you have to do press enter for backup i'm just control j and turn this off and then right click and rasterize type so now it's now a layer okay so let's rename it like uh, double click here and rename it like a base layer okay cool now what i have to do just select this base layer and then control T on your keyboard, then right click, make it perspective. What you have to do when in perspective option is turned on, you can make it like this or like this. So it's become like a, it's going in perspective. So when you go like this, it's feel like this VFX world is coming from this direction to this direction, right? It's really cool. Okay. Or you can use it like this way or this way, anything you want. Okay. So I make it like this. Okay, and this area should go a little more like it. Okay, cool. Now press enter on your keyboard. Now see, it's going a little fine. Now make it a little up and control J on your keyboard for duplicate and make it like lower layer. Great. Now the lower layer should be under this layer and then control T on your keyboard and when you shrink it in Photoshop CC, when you press shift, it will be distorted like this. So don't press shift, just press alt and then drag. So it will become, uh, what do you guys say, scale from the center. Okay, so make it scale like this much. Okay, then move it down. So pressing shift and then move it down. Now press enter. Now what happened, these two are exactly same but only the scale is little down and the scale is little bigger. So make it a little down more. Now my background is a little more brighter. So let's make it a little darker. So select this, select here from here. I'm taking like, uh, what you can say, X curves. Okay, and then just make it a little darker. So now it's looking a little fine. And uh, yes, let's change this blue a little bit. Yes, this is fine. So what happened, this little darkish and little brightish part also visible here. Okay, let's merge these two so it's not disturbing me. Now our basic two part is done. What I have to do, let's make some hologram effect. So for this, you can choose any kind of tool. I suggest this one because this polygon lasso, I really love this tool. Okay, so select this and what you have to do, just zoom a little bit. And there is this little bit trick over here, some kind of thing. Sometimes you may be, uh, what I can say, uh, confused. So relax, just select this. This this is the edge, okay. So from here, click here. Now from here to click here. And then just move it roughly until here. And then click here. And just simply connect it like this. 
Okay, it's very simple. Okay, so now what I have to do, always take a new layer and fill it with a white color and then press Alt and Backspace. Now it's filled with white. Control D for deselect and then just change the blending mode to overlay. Now it's feel like a little more exposed because the background is a little bright. So I'll fix that. So relax, uh, just leave that side right now. No need to uh, worry about. Now for more better purpose, now it's feel like it's projecting something, okay. So for make it more good, uh, what I'm doing here, I'm just make a, this layer, like uh, the, what is the base layer, duplicate it and make it little more up. So press by navigation key, you can uh, make it little up. See, it's going up. So it's feel like it's a three dimensional or you can see 3D kind of thing. Then make the base layer color little more darker. So control and click here. And let's make change this to darkish blue or some kind of thing. So press Alt and Backspace. Now it's not it's not good. So let's make it uh, what you can say uh, this one. I don't know. Just change it roughly. Now it's looking fine. Okay. So it's it can be okay. It can be good. Okay. So now this way you have to create the others. Okay. So let's create this. So select this. So now press zoom it like this and uh, click here and click here and it should go from here oh sorry click here click here very sharply then move it like this and drag it to the end and then move it straight directly here and then feel it like this now press again a new layer move it down and then all done backspace oh sorry the color was a uh, default okay so now alt and backspace now it's become white control d it feel like this now feel it's feel like if it's projecting from here then simply make it overlay so now when you press overlay see this are both are overlay but for this overlay blending mode both colors are not merged in fact it's feel like it's really projecting something Okay guys, so uh, by using this way, you have to create all this, uh, the rays. So I'm just doing it like fast forward, then you guys can understand how exactly I'm doing it. So let's fast forward this. Okay, so uh, as you guys can see, this is really looking awesome. In fact, this area is pretty nice. So now let's change this exposure. Okay, so how you can change this? So first of all, select this background from here go to the exposure option and when you down this exposure see its total is going down so never use this offset so only turn this exposure little down so now you can see it's going a little more down but don't make it too much down because this is your usb for your image so you can change your gammas and all but uh, only the exposure thing you have to just control then select like this and then uh, again uh, let's go to the hue and saturation over there just change the color randomly you can see it's coming a little purple I'm really love this purple thing so turn the saturations and all make this lights a little, little more brighter okay so now it's cool let's see it's feel uh, really looking good okay so now what I have to do when this something is projecting any from, from anything so that should be a little blurred okay so this is my base lower layer you can see so select this Go to the filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So now what happened, make this little more blur. So it feel like it's projecting from something. So always when projection some happened, so it's uh, from, uh, it's little blurred, press okay. And then go to the effects, go to outer glow. And from here, you have to make some glows. See, now it feel like something is projecting here. So make change this color to this neon color because uh, actually the projecting thing is always a neon thing. So when you change this to overlay, see, the projection will feel properly. See, it's hitting this edges. So it's feel like it's really projecting from this way. So make size little bigger and spread it like this. Opacity and it's fine. 
okay you can use strokes and just experimental thing but i suggest do not use stroke because it may be destroy your exactly what you are looking for press okay and you can use so many things inside for like i'm using a noise patterns inside of this so first of all what you have to do select this all and uh, make a group control g so now what i have to do see this rays are right now in a group okay so what you have to do just select this all control j and then control e why i'm doing this this is only for selection so when press control and click see the selection will come so why i'm doing this i'll come okay so control d here just leave it and just like this then press a new layer fill it like black and then go to effects and go to pattern overlay so when you click pattern overlay you can see there are so many patterns here right so let's take this red one i don't know how it look like so take this color overlay or gradient overlay and then make it like uh, let's change this color to little blue or some kind of any anything you can change it then um, change this to what you can say like screen or lighten okay so just experiment okay so go to patterns and make opacity little down and scale it like this press okay okay then go to this way and then see this happened okay now when you press the blending modes you can see this is visible uh, through this uh, options okay so now go to here press control and click the selection is came and then select this layer and press mask so now what happened only this much area is visible so that's why i did that thing okay so just i have to change this red dots to some kind of different color so right click and rasterize the layer style so now it's become a complete layer and then double click here and let's try to change this little blue and yes it's fine now let's blend it so check all you can wash uh, wish so see it's feeling good i think uh, overlay no no overlay screen is screen or lighten is good so let's change it to screen okay so now you can use multiple kind of colors as you wish i suggest blue is good for this or purple is or yeah purple is good see always editing is kind of a experiment okay so you can't happy when uh, your output is looking uh, really good so always be experimental okay so now this is very sharp as you guys can see so let's make it a little blurred so go to blur caution blur and obviously turn this blur a little down and make it opacity a little down see like this now it's feel like something is something is really good okay so this is our main top layer okay so let's do something let's try something okay so go to the blending modes uh, and uh, let's see uh, outer glow yes obviously outer glow have to give then make change the color to what you can say yellow no yes this this kind of blue is good okay so make opposite a little brighter spread and size like this if you use stroke you can i suggest do not make some patterns something like this anything you wish to do okay i suggest this one is good yes this one is good and make this some gradient kind of thing so let's make this one to normal and uh, opacity down let's change this to what you guys say this one okay cool let's turn off this patterns because i didn't like this patterns okay now make it a little brighter so see it's feel really good press okay so now what i have to do take a hue and saturation now throughout you can change the entire color as you wish see some kind some people really love this color but i didn't so i change it only this much saturation a little down a little brighter and then this is completely done now what you can do just select all this control g for a group then control t and move anywhere but but you can distort it or skew it like this so it's feel like it's projecting like this it's it's your wish guys but i suggest 
leave it like this because it's really looking good or or you can uh, change it like uh, what do you guess scale it like this or scale it down rotate it so i hope this one is a really good one for you guys and if really you guys love this then don't forget to hit the subscribe button bell button and yes keep following me in my facebook account instagram account link is in the description just go and follow okay so i will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy bye bye